welcome back to engineering graphics class in this session we are going to discuss how to solve the development of lateral surface of a solid problems using solid edge v18 software so let us discuss the problem the question is given like this a square prism of base set 30 mm and axis length 60 mm is resting on hp on one of, on one of its base with all the vertical faces being equally inclined to vp it is cut by an inclined plane 60 degree to hp and perpendicular to vp and is passing through a point on the axis at a distance 50 mm from the base draw the development of the lower portion of the prism here they given the square prism so we need to take a line normal line first we need to draw the the orthographic projection of this uh, front and top view we need to get draw a xy line and uh, x you can go to text in the text you can take uh, x and here y and this is vp and this is hp and next here so they give one we can take the visible line the square prism so by using rectangle option directly see here by using rectangle option we can get that square so take uh, rectangle and a visible line the width and height we need to give same because it is square in the keyboard enter 30 and press enter and then also width also 30 and angle because they said uh, the vertical uh, faces equally inclined to vp that means we have to take corner means all the vertical faces should make equal inclination when we take corner condition then only it will satisfy this condition that's why angle we need to give 45 degree so directly we will get the uh, the uh, square with the corner condition see all these vertical faces are equally inclined if you want to measure you can uh, measure that so go to angle between select the any of the edges so it will make 45 degree and here also you can check this is also 45 degree so that's why we have to take corner condition and next after finishing this you can uh, take the line normal line draw the diagonal lines to get the center i like this and the naming we can give the namings here so a this is b and uh, c and this one is d like this the first uh, step of this one top view finished and then you draw the projection line from all the points to xy and then the top uh, uh, we finished then the front view come to coming to the front view height of the prism they give on the 60 so enter the length 60 and by using uh, alignment indicator you can finish the the front view it is look like a rectangle like this uh, we get the front view and while doing the front view we can do it with the normal line after cutting the lower portion we can make the visible and the uh, naming so uh, we can uh, give it so this point is a dash and uh, this point we can take uh, b dash in the bracket d dash and this point is c dash and this height we can represent that is a uh, 60 and the face is uh, 30 base side is 30 and now for this prism the cutting plane passing through a height 50 from the base by making an inclination of 60 degree so go to line so first we will draw a ref, uh, horizontal line here just for reference and this height we need to give it 50 so go to the distance between option select the line and select the base and uh, click it here and it is 51 is there you can enter 50 so after that this line become 50 and then we can go to line cutting plane from the point 50 mm point what we mark here we need to give angle 60 degree angle 60 and just to the uh, draw the one side of that and same thing the line should be extended here so by using the option in the trim option extend to next option is here so take this option and click on the line it will be extended so like this the cutting plane is uh, passing through all the 
vertical edges with an angle 60 degree. We can show that angle by using angle between option and uh, degree is 60 degree. And then go to line, visible line, the bottom portion. They said to the make a development of bottom portion. So, whatever the bottom is coming below that cutting plane line, we need to make visible. Okay. Now, we need to mark the same points in the top view also. Uh, first, we can mark the where and all these cutting plane, cutting the these vertical edges and all, we can give the namings. So, on the A, it is cutting here. So, this one we can take it as 1. This cutting plane cutting the vertical edge B, so you can uh, make that one as a 2. And the same, this one is cutting the, uh, it will not cutting the vertical edge, but the top face it is cutting. That is uh, between B and C and C and D it is cutting. So, those two points we can take it as 3 and 4. And last 5 at the D vertical line it is cutting, at the 5 you can make that point as a 5. Like this, uh, all the points are marked. And same thing we need to mark it in the down. So, before that we need to go to line normal line from the point 3 and 4 we need to draw a projection line up to the this base and now we can name those points the 1 is coming in the vertical uh, this edge A and 2 is coming on this point B and 3 is here and 4 and 5 is coming over here. So, like this we got all the points respectively and next uh, while developing we need the distance between D to 5 sorry D to 4 as well as B to 3. So, we want to measure that length. To measure that length if you go to the small dimension, so if you click the line entire length is coming. So, we want only this segment. So, we can divide that line by using split option. So, select the split option and select the line and come to the uh, point 3 and then click it. So, the line is divided into two different parts, same thing here. Select the line, so come to the point 4, intersecting point, click it, see these two lines are splitted. Now, you can take the smart dimension and you can check the length, these two length will come same because 8.16. Now, we got all the information which is needed for development and let me start the development. So, while developing, so this one the faces having a rectangle of uh, 60 and 30. So, it is a square uh, prism. So, four faces uh, similar rectangle faces will come. So, first we will construct the one rectangular face along the uh, same line with the xy. You can start the height 60, angle 90, then this is a 30 and angle 0 and then you can finish it one box we can finish. Then the same we can uh, make by using um, mirror option. So, by taking mirror option, select the mirror option and select the entire object and then go to the right uh, edge. So, it will show the mirror then click it again come to the right edge, click it then click it. So, like this we got four segments is enough. And the naming, so this is the vertical edge uh, capital A and this one is B and this one is C and this one is D and this one is back to A. Now, we need to mark all the points 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on the respective uh, edges. So, you can go to line normal line. First, you can start with the 1. So, 1 is on the A. So, you can draw 1 up to the where and all A is there. This is the 1 A and here also A is there. You can join up to here. Okay, next start from the 2. So, 2 is on the B. So, you can join up to the B and phi is also in the same, but is coming on the D. So, same line you extend up to the D, okay, like this here 2 and 5. Then coming to 3 and 4, this is cutting in between of B and C and C and D. So, we measure the distance that is 3 is from the B 8.16 and 4 is from the D 8.16. So, we can go to arc by center point and come to the B because we measure the distance bit, uh, from the B. So, take B as a center and the give the radius. 8.16, then you draw the arc and to get the point 4, it is measured from the D. So, go to the D and make D as a center 
and then give the radius 8.16 then draw the arc so now before going to uh, joining those points we can uh, name those points 1 2 3 4 5 and 1 so now go to line visible line from the base you can start it 1 2 3 4 5 1 base and join the bottom base and then vertical edges also we need to join be, uh, below the cutting axis from the C to base and phi to base. So like this development is completed. Yeah.